My name is Anis Momin. I am from Avaya Services. I am going to present on Aura Alarming for AVP and System Manager. I will be showing on AVP message flow and alarming strategy, how to validate monitoring of AVP servers, configuration of AVP alarming via System Manager, configuration of AVP alarming to System Manager, and overview of System Manager's alarming capability. The presentation flow will have AVP VMware networking, system manager's involvement with AVP utility server regarding alarming, overview of system manager's various roles, configuration overview and validation overview. Additional background reading will be available on support.avaya.com. You can refer to Avaya Aura System Manager 7.1 SNMP white paper. Migrating and installing Avaya Aura Appliance Virtualization Platform for Alarming. Accessing and managing Avaya Aura Utility Server 7.1.3 for AVP Alarming. Administering Avaya Aura System Manager. You can refer to Managing Serviceability Agents, Trap Listener Service for configuring the Trap Listener Service and Managing Events. AVP and VMware. What it can and can't do. So AVP is a customized version of VMware Essentials. VMware Essentials does not include the SNMP functionality. AVP cannot be monitored like other full-fledged VMware products, for example, pods, etc. Utility services includes the alarming components, which acts as an alarming proxy for AVP. AVP by design sends syslog messages to the utility server. What's new in 8.x? In Avaya Aura 8.x, utility services will be named as AVP utilities. It still provides the AVP alarming, SSH enablement and services port functionality. Alarm for snapshots greater than one week old is targeted. Benefit of AVP servers over VMware. Alarming is tuned to intended use. VMware default alarming severity is frequently information based unless it is for CPU or memory related. VMware is a broad topic and alarming configurations are specific to use case. Avaya's alarming implementation takes the guesswork out of defining what is considered wrong and requiring attention. This is a highly oversimplified AVP network overview where we have AVP at a physical platform on which we are deploying applications like utility services, communication manager, system manager, session manager, etc. Corporate LAN NICs will be connected through AVP and the services port will be connected through AVP where utility services will be acting as a service port functionality. Utility services AVP network overview. The syslog destination is hard coded in AVP Kickstart as 192.168.13.1, which is used by utility services. An AVP services port will use the default 192.168.13.6. All the alarming information from AVP is sent to utility services through the syslog information. How does utility services handle syslog? Remote syslog entries on AVP are returned to var log remote.log on utility server. VMware and AVP messages are analyzed from that log file. When a fault condition is detected, utility services sends SNMP trap to the configured alarming destinations as SAL, system manager, NMS, etc. Alarm definitions include power, battery, fan, license, etc. Refer to PSN 27062U if you are on 7.1.0 or 7.1.1. How Utility Services is configured for alarming. Utility Services is configured for alarming via a local script when there is no system manager is integrated or involved. With system manager, utility server must be configured from system manager via serviceability agents, which is located at home services, inventory, manage serviceability agents. Note, for AVP alarming to work, 
utility server must be a listed serviceability agent with status active. Troubleshooting serviceability agents. Check that the utility server serviceability agent is listed on the system manager with status active. Checking logs for errors. On system manager, refer to spirit folder, which is located in var log avaya mgmt spirit. On utility services, refer to remote.log, which is in var log remote.log. This will involve if connectivity with AVP is established. Refer to spirit.log in opt spirit logging. Check utility server is listening to remote syslog connection from AVP. Refer PSN 27062 for details. Ensure connection with system manager is configured correctly and reconfigure if necessary. Prerequisites DNS server must be configured and fully working. System manager enrollment password must be configured and enabled. How to set system manager IP address in utility server? You can run the script opt avaya common services set system manager IP address and how to register utility services serviceability agent with system manager. Run the script opt avaya common services ovf set spirit followed by system manager of fqdn and followed by enrollment password. Send the test alarm to confirm connectivity with system manager. You can generate the test alarm from opt spirit scripts utils generate test alarm dot sh. Note the file slash temp test alarm dot log must exist. Create manually if it isn't present. Try executing the following commands on AVP CLI. ESXi CLI system syslog reload nc hyphen zu 192.168.13.1 with port 514. The following should be displayed when the connection is successful. System managers multiple roles and functions. System manager acts as a virtual machine manager for Avaya servers via SDM. It is a certificate authority. Utility server must enroll during deployment to allow system manager to configure it. It has central serviceability agent configuration. How system manager configures the agent on various Aura products which includes utility server. It is formally known as spirit agents. It has SNMP trap receiver. Utility server can be configured to send alarms to SAL and system manager and customer partner NMS. Configuration of Aura users and systems can be done through system manager. Database replication master for Avaya products adopting DRS and also single sign-on for user. Here is an overview of system manager interactions deploying utility services. First, the SDM will be used to deploy utility server on AVP. Then the utility server will enroll itself with the system manager certificate authority. System manager will create a serviceability agent for utility services and utility services will then send the traps to the trap receiver on system manager. Overview of System Manager Interactions Deploying Session Manager First, SDM will be used to deploy Session Manager. Then the Certificate Authority will be used to enroll Session Manager with System Manager. Then the DRS will take place between System Manager and Session Manager. Session Manager Serviceability Agent will be created in the System Manager. Then the traps from Session Manager will be sent to the System Manager. Configuration Overview If you have deployed properly in the SDM, then you are almost done. Build SNMP version 3 users for polling and trapping. Build trap destination version 2 or version 3. Assign to our serviceability agents. Note, some Aura products are not configured by this method. For example, CEM and AAM. System Manager's default SNMP trap receiver will be found in Home, Services, Configurations, Settings, SMGR, Trap Listener. These are the default settings as per your 
requirement, you can change the privacy password and the authentication password. System Manager as a monitoring dashboard, you can configure your Aura elements to send alarms to the System Manager. Note that it is not an AMS. It is a tool that can configure Aura components in bulk. Error and log dashboards for Aura elements. Validating that serviceability agents are sending alarms via test alarm and reception. Building an SNMP version 3 user profile. Just build a profile with the same credentials as SMGR's listener. Note that the authentication and privacy protocols. System manager can only configure access profiles with version 3, which requires password and SNMP get. System manager can receive SNMP traps for version 1, 2, and 3. When system manager is configured as a target profile, Note that the port which is used is 10162 and not the default port 162. System Manager only does SNMP version 3 which requires a password. Add the user profile from the previous step. Assigning the profile to a serviceability agent. You can go to Home, Services, Inventory, Manage Serviceability Agent, Serviceability Agents and select the agent for example session manager or utility server and click on manage profiles go to snmp target profiles and you will have an option as assignable profiles select the system manager and click on assign once you click on commit you will have assigned the snmp target profile of system manager with version 3 credentials so in plain english when this utility server detects a problem, it will send an alarm to system manager. In Avaya conceptual language, when the serviceability agent detects a problem, it will send a trap to the SNMP target with the SNMP v3 user profile associated with the target profile per the configuration of the serviceability agent. You can manage in bulk serviceability agents. Point many utility servers to SAL in one page. You can easily change or update anytime. Can send test alarms from many servers at once and can validate in system manager or Avaya tickets. You can validate alarm reception in system manager by going to events and alarms and check if you have received the test alarm. Also, you can validate ticketing with Avaya if Avaya have received the alarm. Sending test alarms. Select all the three session managers as shown in the screen capture and click on generate test alarm. Note that they are going to send alarms to two cell gateways and a system manager. One click of generate test alarm will basically send nine traps from three agents which are three session managers to three receivers which are two cell gateways and a system manager. Check the port which the alarms or traps are being sent. For cell gateway it will be 162 and for system manager it will be 10162. Best practices Always configure serviceability agents to send alarms to the system manager and cell. Always confirm test alarms turn into Avaya SRs and appear in system manager. Ensure your devices are reachable in your inventory. Send only specific alarms to specific targets using notification filters. Notification profiles can include or exclude certain type of alarms. For example, send only hardware alarms to data center team, NMS. Send software alarms to remote support teams. Notification profile is assigned per alarm target and per agent. Very granular configurations are possible. Exclude memory alarms for BSMs on S8300D, for example. Session manager could send invalid registration credentials to a security monitoring device. Session manager could send there are users active, no longer active on this BSM upstream to update a ticketing system. You can enable polling on devices as well, for example, prognosis. Add a user profile on the serviceability agent, not the trap profile. 
SNMP v3 user Kyle can poll a utility server or any other serviceability agent with this profile via SNMP. Once the profile is added, you can run an SNMP walk from any other Linux server to the system manager or to the agent where you have enabled the SNMP v3 profile. And you should receive an SNMP v2 or v3 MIB files as shown in the screen capture. In summary, System Manager acts as a central management of alarming and polling for Avaya Aura products. Serviceability agents are crucial element for proper system monitoring. System Manager offers flexibility of sending certain alarms to certain destinations. AVP alarming is specifically tuned to Avaya's use cases and is standardized across deployments. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.